In the previous two missions, you've come up with an app and then you drew all the screens one by one. Now we're going to make a real app from these screens that you can try out on a phone or tablet. First, you are going to digitize all the screens that you've designed by taking pictures of them, and then you're going to link them so that they can actually click through your app. Take your Android smartphone or tablet and your screen designs. First, we're going to install the app Pop. Click on the link at the bottom of this video or look it up in the Play Store. Marvel, design and build apps. While you install the app, you can pause this video for a moment. Start up the app, and then click on Create Your First Project. Give your app a name. It's right here on your design canvas. Choose your orientation, portrait, or landscape. And choose for which phone your app is. If your phone or tablet is not on the list, just choose another one. Then you can click on the check mark in the top right hand corner. Now you're going to 1. First take pictures of all the screens you have designed. Then 2. Link all the buttons and menus so that you can actually click through your app. Now first click on the plus sign and choose camera. Your screen changes into a camera with a round red button with which you can take a picture. Now put all your designs on the table or on the floor. One by one take pictures of all your screens. Try to make it fit beautifully like this. You can continue to take pictures without a break. Once you're done, you click on the check mark in the top right hand corner. You can possibly adjust the cutout. And again, click on the check mark in the top right hand corner. You can pause this video while you take the pictures. Good luck! Did you take the pictures of all your screens? Good job! The second step to really make your app work is linking all of your screens so that you can actually click through them. In this overview, you see all the screens that you've made and digitized. Linking them goes as follows. Click on the first screen where you want to make a link. Click on Add Link. Make a hotspot. Click on Link to Image and choose the screen where you want the link to go to. Then choose a transition, for example, Slide Up, and click twice on Done. Then do the next one. This way you're going to connect all screens one by one quite a lot of work because you have to make sure that they are all connected one way or the other. Now you can click the play button on the bottom and your app will start up. You can try it out yourself or have someone else do it. It's very well possible that you've forgotten a few links in the first time or that you have linked them incorrectly. No big deal, you can just adjust them. To get back to play mode, you press the screen for a long time and choose done. Your turn! Your app prototype is done. Good job! You came up with your first app, designed it, now built a real prototype. And as I said before, a real app is never done. Most apps are continuously adjusted and improved. No wonder you have to update them all the time. In the next mission, we're going to test and improve your app prototype.